going to, if knowing that sometimes people say, no, I can hear you, but that you really can't. Does this work for way in the back? Can you hear me? Okay. How about way back here? Okay. I'm naturally loud. I am. So if it gets too loud here, I'll know because your hair will go back. <laughs> Real nice. Look, yeah, it's just blown back. But let me connect with you a little bit on a couple things. Um, my two favorite books. Dr. Seuss, right? Got to love Dr. Seuss. The Butter Battle Book. Any of you seen the Butter Battle Book or read? How many of you know this? What is that? Good. Good. There's only about a third of you. So this is a question for about a third of you to find out what is this. Probably the best Seuss book I've ever read. And I used to use this with my high school students. In fact, I can prove that because here's their writing from uh, probably 20 years ago. Because it's important, I'll tell you what. And the Lorax. Now how many of you have heard the Lorax, right? How many of you know the Lorax? Seen the movie? How many of you saw the movie and didn't read the book? Uh, right, right. It's good. it's good. And the reason this is kind of the setup for the conversation, keynotes kind of just throw that right out the window. It's not a keynote. You're not going to learn anything. It's more of a, uh, a rigorous conversation. I'll show you the structure I'm going to set up in a second. But the reason I love the Lorax and the Butter Battle book from Dr. Seuss is because they have no what? That's a good story. I love that. <laughs> There's no ending. There's no ending on neither of these books in Dr. Seuss's arsenal. Is there an ending? Which I find very much like Ed Camp. Because this isn't going to be a traditional keynote with a beginning, a middle, and an end. In fact, the conversation of an Ed Camp might follow much more. I eat Mubarak, I eat Saeed, I eat Ramadan Kareem. Today is the first day of Eid. Those of you who know this, super important in the world. If you don't, and you want to see how Eid is celebrated, it is go to the Mall of America, you will see thousands of people celebrating Eid. If you don't know this, there is no way for you to collaborate. There just isn't. You'll know why I know this as it was something that came into my life a little bit more, but very important to acknowledge what's going on. Skip through this. This is the structure. How many of you have seen or re heard Intelligence Squared on NPR? Just raise your hand if you have. Well, give me an idea. Okay, Intelligence Squared is the Oxford style debate. It's been turned into uh, a radio format. It's a great thing to watch, listen to, podcast, because it's a debate format without an enemy. Kind of like this idea of what you're going to see with this conversation I'm going to have with you. It's not going to end. It's supposed to be provocative. So this is the structure I want to put in place for you. If it's not provocative, I haven't done a very good idea, job. If you haven't been ticked off at me at some point in time and said, move it on, I probably haven't done a good job. And if you haven't gone, oh, that's kind of interesting. But it is not going to be from Steve Hoffman. I'm going to throw it back to you a few times in this time that I get so that you can talk amongst yourself. So here's my first throw back. I find it fascinating to me. Um, stand up if you're a male, please. Well, here's my first provocative question. Where are all the men? Now, I would venture to guess, because Carol talked about the literacy conference, and I've known that for at least a decade, that this would be about the number of men out of 300. Accurate, Carol? Okay, maybe 10, maybe 30, 10%? Uh, not that many. Not that many. So here's my first question. 
and I want you to throw it around. If you need to join a group, please do. But I want you to throw it back at us. Where are all the men? You don't have to answer it that way. You can shift it this way. How can we collaborate when we don't have 49% of the population here? And you know the statistics in education. It's becoming more female. More and more female. I looked them up the other day. My wife and I had a disagreement. It is since the 60s, 1860s, it has been female dominated. And I said, no way. I don't, I don't believe that. So we went back to the data. Since the 1860s, it's been female. The last 10 years, it's even more. Even more. So the question is, provocative. How come the men aren't here? Okay, dive in, have a conversation for a couple minutes. <laughs> 